again tonight with their babies and their elderly, and uh, they need help that they're not getting. That's the fact in New Orleans tonight, Sean. Shep, how many people are you talking about on the bridge there? Because we, we see now as we're, we're on the air here this hour, the images of the convoys going in, the armed guards going in, and you see the supplies going in. Why are they not getting to that specific location? I don't know. Yeah, but we know for a fact that there's, there's and how many people specifically are there? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. See, the thing is, people don't know where to go now. They're not, they're not being told where to go. Two days ago, I was on that same bridge at exit 235 saying there were thousands of people there then who didn't know where to go. They went to the Superdome. They were told no. The federal government finally stepped up and said, no, don't go to the Superdome. But they weren't told where to go. So they sit there. It may be because they were worried about chaos in other places if too many people were gathered. Uh, there's just no answer to that question. It, it's one of the first stories I've ever covered where, where questions as simple as, why do the people on the easily accessible bridge not get food and water and don't even get instructions of where to go to get food and water and medical attention? Uh, it's the first time I've ever not known the answer to that, to that and I'm not sure there is an answer. Chef there may Allen, be nowhere uh, for them to go yet. Where do you go to get those answers? Who's in charge? Who do you ask? Where do you go to get information? I don't know, Sean. There's a, Alan, there's a command center here, and, and I, I guarantee you they're, they're doing their dead level best uh, with what they have to work with. There are lots and lots of rescue workers in town. There's lots of food, but there are lots of people who are not getting it. And why is that? I wish I knew, Alan and Sean. I, I, don't, I don't know. Are volunteers needed? Is anything people can do to help? Uh, do more, pe more people needed well, there to there, help if distribute? There, if, there, if there are hundreds of people on bridges and on freeways who are living outside with, with tiny babies who aren't getting formula and elderly people who need medicine, yes, they are needed. How can you help? I think the answer is to send money to relief organizations. But, but you know, I, I don't, I don't want to sound, you know, crazy about this tonight, but Alan and Sean, we've seen this and we can smell it. And it's, it, I don't know. All right, Shep Smith in New Orleans tonight. Thanks, Shep. And joining us now from outside the convention center in New Orleans is our very own Geraldo Rivera, who's on the ground from earlier today. Geraldo. Sean, I, I can't emphasize what Shep just said enough. He said it exactly right. There is no earthly answer that anyone can understand why these people, after six days, are still in this filthy, filthy, miserable convention center why are they still here there's the freeway here i tell you what i would have done i would what i would still do i would say let them walk out of here let them walk away from the filth let them walk away from the devastation let them walk away from the dead bodies in here they say they're on the second floor in the freezer i've been on the first floor it's like willowbrook in there I i'm telling you sean and alan this is uh this this is you cannot deny that it's six days since this natural disaster befell New Orleans. What has happened since is, is as bad or worse than what Mother Nature did. It's just, I, I mean, I, I can't understand that. I've only been here in Louisiana for less than a day. I left New York yesterday. But coming to the convention center, it is as if time stopped. It's as if I'm back and it's Wednesday. I, I saw. Fox News on Wednesday, and people were here at this building, the convention center, saying, get us out of here, help us, help us. And now it's 48 hours after that, and the people are still here. None of them, none of them, as far as I know, not a single one has been bust out of here. They're all still here. Why is that? I, I, God, I wish I knew. I wish someone could tell me. Where are the buses? There are so many buses that could, where are the, you know, uh, we had a flight, 159th fighter wing. Uh, uh, Louisiana came down and they were bringing in doctors and medical supplies and, and kicking off the MREs out of the, uh, out of the helicopters, but none of the people are there. Look at this. Look at this little baby. There's so many little babies. Can I, here, tell me, how old is this baby? He's 15 months. 15 months, okay. Here's a, it, this is a I got a baby. You know I have a baby. And, and you, you see, you, there are so many babies here. It's just not, I mean, it's, it's not, you know, I, I, it's not a question of objectivity, it's a question of reality. This is the, you, how do you, how do you, 
I don't, I don't know, man. I don't, let them walk out of here. Let them walk the hell out of here. Let them get on that interstate and walk out, walk someplace, walk to the Walmart on the other side of the river, walk to some other town, walk someplace where you can help them. All you got here is thousands and thousands of people who have desperate, desperate needs six days later. These people in the same clothes. Where do you think they're going to the bathroom? They don't wash their hands. They don't wash their face. These babies, what the hell? It's, 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 I, all right, Geraldo, hang on right there. Chef, we go back to Shepard Smith is also in New Orleans. Shepard. They, they won't let them walk out of there because I'm standing right above that convention center. And what they've done is they've locked them in there. The government said, you, you go here and, and you'll get help. Or you go in that Superdome and you'll get help. And they didn't get help. They got locked in there and they watched people being killed around them. And they watched people starving. And they watched elderly people not get any medicine. And now they know it's happening because we've been telling them repeatedly over and over every day. And you know what they're doing now? And I'm not blaming anyone. I'm telling you what's happening. They have set up a checkpoint at the bottom of this bridge. That This is the bridge that takes you from New Orleans over into Gretna, from Orleans Parish into Jefferson's Parish. It's the only way out. It's the, it's the connection to the rest of the world. And they've set up a checkpoint, and anyone who walks up out of that city now is turned around. You are not allowed to go to Gretna, Louisiana, from New Orleans, Louisiana. Over there, there's hope. Over there, there's electricity. Over there, there's food and water. But you cannot go from there right, to Chef, there. I think the government will not allow you to do it. It's a fact. I want, I want to get some perspective here because earlier today, the images were. That is perspective. Hang on a second. That is all the perspective hang, you hang, need. Hang on a second. I want to get perspective in this sense that earlier today, Fox was showing the images of the convoys, of the people getting in there. With the convoys, there was food, there was medicine, there was water, and there were supplies. So obviously, we are getting a a lot closer than we were. So what is it going to take? What is the time frame? Is anybody saying that we're going to get that that was going in there today to the people that you're talking about? No idea. No idea. Okay. Because that's that's what needs to be done. Obviously, it's clear that there is there is an effort. You hit the getting... nail on the head. We've been saying that's what needs to be done every day. Everyone here knows that's what needs to be done. I'm sure every caring human being who is out here volunteering his time or who wears a badge for a living because he loves his fellow man or who goes out to fight fires because he loves his fellow man wants people to get help, but they're not getting it. All right, we'll go back to Geraldo. Hey, Geraldo, you there? Sean, Quiet. look. Sean, just take a look. Take a look. I want everyone in the world to see six days after Katrina swept through this city, five days after the levee collapsed, this baby, this baby, how old is this baby? Ten months old. And, and where's your, and you're missing twins? Yes, um, this is my youngest grandson and this is their brothers. We got separated. All right, they're separate. I, I hope to God, I'm so glad they're not here. They're not here. They're not here at hell on earth. But here, hold, the, hold this, honey. What's your name? My name is Anna Lee. Okay. Look, look in the face of the baby. This is it. This is it. No sugar coating, no political spin, no Republicans or Democrats. People suffering. Let them go. Let them out of here. Let them go. Let them walk over this right. damn <clears throat> interstate and let them out of here. All right. Thanks, Geraldo. Appreciate it. We appreciate it. from uh, New Orleans tonight. And uh, we are now joined with an update from New Orleans International Airport uh, from our own Anita Vogel is standing by. Anita. 